Hello, welcome to another video. Today I have here a small uh, power board for uh, breadboards. Um, this is um, a small uh, power board for breadboards. We connect it like this in the breadboard. We can uh, use USB power or a, a small transformer and use this jack to power the system. This small board is based on the IS1117. The, they have in, the, in here two, play, two of these. Uh, and they are the fixed versions. We have two because we have one, one is for 3.3 volts and the other is for 5 volts. Uh, we have this little switch here and here that we can uh, select which voltage uh, we have on the pins on the other side. So we can have uh, on the breadboard we can have two uh, different um, voltage to power the circuits. On the, we can have 3.3 on one side and 5 volts on the other side or uh, we have the, the same voltage in, in each rail. Um, we have here uh, some pins to use with uh, the jumpers uh, uh, with uh, some wires to, to connect here. Uh, we have 3 rounds and 3.3 uh, 3 .3 volts and in here we have 3 rounds and 3 uh, 5 volt pins. Um, this is connected like this on the on the breadboard. It stays in place. Um, and now I will show I will connect a small transformer. I use a, a typical transformer. And now I will power the board with the jack. Uh, the board has a, a LED uh, that uh, lights up when it's powered and uh, I have here three LEDs connected to these two, to this rail and this one to this rail. Uh, they are off because uh, the switches are off. We can now turn it to 3.3 volts. I have these two and in the, the bottom line I can have 3.3 volts. I can switch to 5 volts as you can see the, the brightness of the LED changes and the other in the other line the same. I can change the voltage very easily. Um, <coughs> I bought these plates from Banggood, three of them cost me less than six euros and in the description uh, they say that uh, the maximum current is 700 milliamps um, in the data sheets of the IS1117 the maximum current is 800 milliamps but when I tested this, this little board and I don't recommend to use it above 300 milliamps because the, the chips become too hot to touch and maybe to have a, a long life for this board it's better not to uh, exceed 300 milliamps uh, nevertheless the, the chips have internal thermal limiting so they should be protected and not be destroyed by excess of heating. But uh, for me, I will not use it above 300 milliamps. But uh, it's um, very useful because many of the secrets that we use in breadboards don't, uh, don't need much current. Um, I hope you have liked this video. I will leave in the 
a link for this board in the description of the video if you like to buy one for yourself and see you next video bye